Okay, thank you very much. Um, this is uh, uh, fun for me. I've, I've, I gave a little chat at Tech Hub last year, and I think I'm going to be doing something else in this building. I cannot remember if it has to do with Tech Hub or not, but uh, for the Google Campus people are, are having me. Um, so, love it here. It's a really cool building, and those of you who work here, it's a, it's a, what a great opportunity of a place to be with a lot of really interesting, energetic things going on. So, uh, just to get started here, um, I just uh, I'm, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, Wikipedia, but I'm mainly going to talk about uh, Wikimedia UK, and I really only have some short, uh, brief remarks, uh, and then we can do Q and A, and then we'll, well, I mean, there's booths in the back. We <laughs> won't come for too long. So, uh, so first question: uh, How many people here um, use Wikipedia? That's just a <laughs> the end of the day. It's a video way. Uh, but how many people have actually edited Wikipedia? And obviously, the uh, people with the uh, name badges on. Uh, raise your hands. Uh, these are these are the the Wikimedia UK staff, and uh, very importantly, uh, some of the volunteer um, editors. And these are the people that, if you're interested in learning more about very specific things. Uh, seek them out, they've got the big badges on uh, to talk about anything. So, um, a lot of the people who uh, are using Wikipedia, every, I mean, that's everybody, right? We're all using Wikipedia every day. Um, loads and loads of people are editing <coughs> Wikipedia. Um, but a lot of people aren't really aware of the whole organizational structure um, and, uh, and, and some of the projects that we're doing. So, the original uh, vision for Wikipedia, of course, is for us all to imagine a world in which every single person on the planet is given free access to the sum of all human knowledge. Um, and that's what we're doing uh, at Wikipedia. Uh, but that entails a lot of things, a lot of really interesting things um, having to do with Wikipedia being inherently global, uh, with trying to empower access uh, for um, uh, the disabled, uh, all, all kinds of different projects that are tangential to the core mission. Um, and one of the things that we um, have all around the world is local chapters. Uh, local chapters are set up by um, the local communities in different places around the world. Um, I would say that the, the oldest chapter by far is the German chapter, um, which has been around for several years now. Um, and slowly but surely in other places around the world, um, we have local chapters. And so while you may know everything about Wikipedia because you're using it all the time, uh, you may not realize the things that the chapters are doing, and in particular Wikimedia UK. Um, so what is this? So Wikimedia UK is a, a UK-based charity, uh, independent from the Wikimedia Foundation in San Francisco, but obviously affiliated. Um, and what this means is that we now have uh, staff uh, here in, uh, in the UK and a board of trustees, uh, volunteer trustees, um, who look after the charity. Um, and this means that we are able to do the kinds of projects uh, that they've been doing for a while in Germany and in other countries um, that have been very successful in those places. Uh, and this is very exciting. So just to, to run, through a, run through a few of the things uh, that we have going on, you know, more or less on the ground uh, that you may not have heard about if you're just using the website. Uh, for example, we have Wikipedians in residence at the British Library, Science Museum, Natural History Museum. Uh, Wikipedians in residence is a, still a fairly new concept. I don't know how many there are worldwide. Probably someone who uh, is an expert on that is probably here, but I would say maybe 10, um, something like that, in different museums or libraries around the world. And they go into the library or to the museum and they help the curators there um, to make sure that everything in that institution is well covered in Wikipedia. Um, and sort of to help liaison and help to get some of those real experts, uh, you know, the, the real expert from uh, the Natural History Museum to come to Wikipedia entries and say, actually, this is not quite right, and this is a way that it could be made better. Um, and we've had a lot of success with that, and uh, that's been really good. Uh, some of the things that have happened here locally, um, uh, one of the things that I thought was very cool was uh, Ada Lovelace Day. Uh, how many people here know who Ada Lovelace is? I think it's getting to be more known. So Ada Lovelace, Ada Countess of Lovelace, um, who I named my daughter after, actually, um, is said to be the first computer programmer. She worked with Charles Babbage on the uh, analytical engine, and she published the first monograph that contained instructions for a machine to compute the answer to a problem. And so in, in a certain sense, that's the first computer program. Uh, I think that's a bit of a stretch to call it a computer program, but certainly it was the first uh, you know, algorithm that could be implemented on a machine. Of course, they weren't able to actually build the machine until uh, about 
10 years ago, I think it was five years ago, um, but because of uh, engineering uh, issues, but still the important pathbreaking broke work. And it's interesting because there's been quite a movement, I'd say in the last five years, um, in, in the programming community to recognize more women and to recognize the contributions of women and she's become something of, of the icon or symbol for that. So the Ada Lovelace Day was uh, an event to, um, sort of a, a crash uh, weekend event to improve articles about women in science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, and it was, um, you know, it was fun. Uh, I didn't get to go, unfortunately, but um, it was well received in the press. And for us, that's one of the important things about these kinds of things. We know that at Wikipedia, we have a real shortage of uh, female editors. Um, I can see here Tech Hub um, and the crowd here also has a real shortage of females. Uh, and those two things are, are related because we do come from the tech world and the tech world tends to be male dominated. Um, we know that we have a shortage of women, but that's something that we really feel needs to change. It's really important to us uh, that we have a more diverse community. Our male tech geeks, um, well, we're, we, we're quite knowledgeable of some things, but we have huge blind spots. Uh, it's not just about women. The diversity in the community is really important for a lot of other reasons. Um, I always give the example of my father. My father is uh, something of an amateur expert on 1960s era muscle cars, so the old Corvettes and Mustangs and so forth. I mean, he knows everything about them, um, but he doesn't edit Wikipedia. Um, and he doesn't edit Wikipedia for a lot of reasons, but one of them is we use Wiki markup language, and he's uh, 70 years old, and he clicks on edit in his browser, and he sees this some kind of crazy markup language, and he can't be bothered to learn it. So one of our big pushes is to uh, improve the interface, improve the technology, so that we're not excluding everybody except for computer geeks. Uh, that's a big mistake, because loads of people have knowledge. Uh, they're, they're geeks, but not computer geeks, is what I always say. So this is what we're trying to do. Uh, we had another project, uh, EduWiki, was a conference um, in cooperation with the university. And here's where it becomes apparent that I'm American. Uh, how do you look at Lester? Lester. Yeah. <laughs> Lester. Yeah, all right. Um, right. Uh, I, I pronounced it. Uh, uh, so this is a Leicester. Leicester? No, it's Leicester. It's Leicester. If you ask me, it's Leicester. But it's American. I'm American too. Oh, American too. All right, well. Uh, so this was a conference about open educational resources and academia and so forth. Um, and then we've got a longer term project here to promote uh, digital fluency, particularly relating to editing Wikipedia and participating online um, in the sharing of knowledge. Um, and we step back and we look at the broader community and how Wikimedia UK fits into that. One example, uh, we had this really fantastic um, thing. I, when I first heard about it, I thought, oh, well, that's cute, but it's not going to go anywhere really, uh, called Wiki Loves Monuments. Um, and it's a photo competition. And it was astounding. There was a massive turnout. Um, in, in the countries where people were doing this to get better photos of famous monuments. So people sort of went out on Saturdays in teams and, and did all this stuff uh, to really document things because there's still, uh, even today, uh, there are lots and lots of things in Wikipedia where we'll have a, an entry but we won't have a photo. Um, and the photo can be gotten, it's just somebody's going to go out and do it. So Wikimedia UK is participating uh, for the first time uh, officially in the Wikilos Monuments uh, photo competition. That's a lot of fun. Um, another example of something that the, the foundation is really driving, but the chapters are participating in helping to, us to find contacts and set up the deals, is uh, something I'm really excited about called Wikipedia Zero. And the idea of Wikipedia Zero is, in, particularly in the developing world, but anywhere that we can get it, really, um, is persuading mobile carriers to give people uh, access to Wikipedia with zero data charges. So one of the things that we find is holding people back from using Wikipedia in the developing world is that although they may be, well, I, I have my phone here. I use this, this is my phone. I use it every day. Uh, a friend bought it for me uh, in Kenya. It's, a, it's an Android phone. Uh, it's, um, you know, it's not as good as your iPhone, but it's functional. I, I use it all the time. It's quite good. And he, he paid uh, $85 for it last year, and he just told me uh, recently that this is $50 unlocked. Uh, smartphone. Uh, it's not the greatest phone ever, but the battery lasts for two days. I bet you can't say that. And uh, uh, so what happens is people are beginning. They've sold hundreds of thousands of these in Kenya, but people get the phone and they're afraid to use the data because they can't really afford the data charges. And so the idea of Wikipedia Zero is to convince <coughs> the carriers that it's in their best interest to offer Wikipedia without data charges. Um, for them, it makes sense because it, it's a selling point for the phone. It's a selling point for getting a smartphone. 
people start using it, they'll get comfortable with it. Um, for us, it's, it's exactly in line with our mission. We want free access to the sum of all human knowledge for everyone. Uh, so that's the kind of thing we're really uh, very excited about. So Wikimedia UK is here. Um, the, the things that, that they can do directly and particularly, uh, for those of you who are uh, journalists with the press, Wikimedia UK is your first port of contact uh, for uh, media inquiries. Um, if, if, you know, particularly if it has to do with a UK-based story, um, you know, if, um, I don't know, if uh, Chris Hume has Vicky Price edit his Wikipedia entry for him, uh, that's a very good <coughs> um, But if there's some kind of UK-based angle to a story, Wikimedia UK is far more likely to know what's going on uh, than the Wikimedia Foundation, or frankly, me. Um, if you want to talk to me, they can arrange talking to me, but They'll tell me what's going on, so I'll know what to say. Um, so really, you should talk to Wikimedia UK for a lot of media inquiries. Uh, for, for others uh, here, uh, even well, including the press board, uh, creating features, events related to Wikipedia. Um, you know, they're here to try to find new ways to promote Wikipedia, new ways to get participation, particularly female participation. So uh, we never know where a good idea is going to come from to get more people engaged and excited about Wikipedia. Uh, so those are some of the things that they're here for. Um, and they're here tonight. As I said earlier, I think maybe we'll have people raise their hands again uh, with the name tags. That's quite a few. Um, and uh, you know, if you want to know what kind of people write an encyclopedia as a hobby, uh, <coughs> geeky people who happen to be quite nice. Uh, and so the Wikipedians uh, generally are are just here to help. They want to they want to do interesting things and meet interesting people um, and find ways to make Wikipedia better because it's what we. Uh, I'm a volunteer. It's what we, as volunteers, spend a huge amount of our time doing, trying to make Wikipedia awesome. So uh, that's really cool. We also um, here uh, because Tech Hub is our host. We've got a lot of cool startups in the room, so it's not just about Wikipedia. Um, we want to talk to you. We want you to talk to each other. Uh, you know, brainstorm, discuss ideas. How can we cooperate? How can you cooperate with each other? How can we build a better online culture in lots of different ways? Um, and so finally, I just want to say thanks to Google Campus and Tech Hub for hosting us here tonight. And um, now we can have some Q&A and uh, mingle and drinks and whatever, whatever you want to do.